What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Today, I want to look at Kyle Trask and his performance against the Jets. I know, I know, Baker Mayfield is QB1, but Kyle Trask performed extremely well in this preseason. He probably will in this next game against the Ravens. But we have to look at what potentially could be the future and or a, a trading piece for what the Buccaneers could have in Kyle Trask. I mean, the guy has improved every year he's been in the league so far. He's just finally being able to put it on on a performance base because he's been behind the greatest to ever do it. But let's check this one out first, the touchdown to Trey Palmer. It's just a simple go route right here down the, the hash for Trey Palmer here. But check him out reading what's in front of him. Literally, he's at a, in a shotgun already. So he's looking what's what's in the deep zone of the of the field. Is the safety going to drop into that? He's going, going, oh, he stopped. He's sitting down into a spot because this man's coming underneath. So he knows, okay, I'm going to take this this chance to get over the top and get a touchdown here. I'm going to go for it. What does he do? Puts it right there, right through. I mean, Palmer just tips it to himself. I, everyone was saying this was underthrown. I think it's just a really good ball. I mean, the, the corner tries to undercut it, doesn't get it. Palmer gets it. Touchdown. That's all that matters. And from this angle, it looks beautiful. I mean, talk about right down the hash. Look at this. A perfect beeline right there. And beautiful throw. Look at this. Pop. Popped it to himself. Catch. I just, I thought this was a, a beautiful throw all around. I mean, the time to throw. The confidence to step in there, stay in the pocket. I mean, this second-tier offensive line has not looked good all preseason, but look at that. What a beaut. Uh, we keep going down the line. This is another big play. This one's going to go to Rakeem Jarrett here on the sideline. Again, it's breaking it down. What is he seeing? And him stepping up in the pocket as well, because you're going to see some pressure coming from this blitz corner over here. He's coming in, play action. He gets his head around, immediately looks. Center of the field. What's the safety doing? I only have one safety over there. Okay, so there's not much help on this side. So what does he do? He starts breaking it down, looks over. My guy's doing it out. He's about to go up. So better step up because this guy's coming in. Watch this little step up, up, up. All day to throw now. Now he has a perfect little pocket there to throw to. No, no urgency. Steps into it. And right, right there. I mean, what a hell of a throw. Yes, it could have probably been a little bit more open if, if this guy sells it more. Because this guy breaks off and comes after the ball. I mean, yeah, it, it could have been more of a frozen rope, but that is pretty damn good. I mean, this guy just breaks off his route because his eyes are at the quarterback and just almost gets there. But still, that is a completion. That is just NFL caliber throw right at the sideline. Maybe if he leads him a little bit more so he doesn't have to stop. I know everyone's going to have their ticky-tack things they're going to talk about because he's having to jump and go up for the ball. I, it, hey, either way, it was a completed pass, a big Big play, and that goes on the good side for Kyle Trask here. And then here, him, just again, when you're in shotgun, he's 6'5", he can read everything. He's reading, okay, what are they doing? Are they in man? Are they in zone? What are they doing? So he's watching it develop. Everyone's sitting in zones. They're sitting in zones, right? Just wondering, where where's this ball going to go? Watch this man here literally get around this linebacker and just sit. Watch when Kyle Trask throws this ball. He's waiting, he's waiting. He's starting to pump it out. He's not open yet. He's literally just going to... Walk in right into the opening, into that open alleyway of the zone. That's wide open. And Kyle Trask just delivers it on a dot right there. Boom, right to his chest, pick up some yards. And it's not like it's low and high, having to make the guy struggle to catch the ball. Great throw right there again. Play action. We love this in Dave Canales' offense. And just reading the field. So you're looking at this route tree here. This guy's going to kind of spread it out. So all those guys are going to be dragged upfield. A man's going to come underneath that with an over route. I love this concept. We see this over and over and over. And look at this wide open zone, just zooming in there. And then, yeah, why, a lot of people would say go for the big play. You have a guy underneath him and a guy over top of him. Don't, don't take the risk you don't need to take. Take the easy yards that the defense is giving you. That's what Dave Canales has been screaming all offseason. We're not going to force things. The defense is going to dictate where the ball needs to go. And again, check out what he's doing back here. Play action, read the field. Okay, I got a one deep over here. This guy's trailing with him. So something on this side should be fairly open. And then being able to feel, okay, I'm really far back. I need to step up, get into that pocket so I can deliver a throw. Again, let it go through, steps up, lasers is right down the field. I mean, that, and it, not only is he not lead him too much so this guy doesn't get interfered with, it's just good all around by Kyle Trask. Like he, he has benefited so much from this preseason and made it a competition. I mean, we all knew Baker was going to be QB1. I mean, we were saying it early and often. 
but just stuff like this. This is just a long, deep out, right? Look when Kyle's going to throw this. Again, reading, there's no one else. This guy's facing this way. If this guy doesn't out route, I can get it there on time and where I need to get it to. Kyle's starting to throw it right now. He hasn't even turned around all the way. This is a timing throw right to the sideline. No one else can get that ball besides a Buccaneer. I mean, this that's perfect. Perfectly executed and understanding where the leverage is, knowing where my, my guy is going to be. There's no way in hell anyone else can get this besides my guy. There it is. Two feet down, out of bounds. Dave Canales over here. Probably another reason why you're hearing so many good things from your head coach, from your offensive coordinator. Trask made it a competition. I mean, yes, he's not necessarily ready yet because he doesn't have the experience and understanding of all the defenses, but he's showing talent every time he's out there. And here again, pressure. Yes, people are going to talk about Gedeke. who can't be allowing that, but literally this guy's running the arc. He doesn't turn it all the way in. He just runs it all the way down, and then Gedeke gets him on the ground. But check out Trask feeling this as he's looking down the field. Like, what's going on here? There's a whole jumbled up here, jumbled up here. No one's really open besides Devin Tompkins here. He doesn't get it to him. He steps up. Look at him feeling it. Doesn't look at the defender. Just feels it, steps up, and realizes, okay, I got it. Where's my escape goat? Right here. He could have gone Devin Tompkins. Yeah, he's like saying, ball, ball me, please. But he felt more comfortable with Kate Otten. Otten makes a big play here, gets a first down. You're going to see it from the opposite angle. Check this out. Where are his eyes? Always down the field. He's feeling this rush coming. Uh, so you let it keep going. Never really looked away from down the field. Feels it, steps up. Look at that gap. We talked about this in the offensive line video. And then immediately, look at the platform. Gets his legs underneath him, ready, and unload it. And that, that's good stuff. That is clean footwork, clean eyes down the field, doesn't look rushed, a, a good all around. Now, this one, this one reminded me of the old Jameis Winston days, like throwing the ball as he's on the way down. That scared me a little bit. I'm like, Trask, what are you doing here? Uh, you either just take the sack, understand that there's a blitzer coming. That one's on you. You got to understand where, what's going on, especially if you're here looking. You got to be aware that this guy is coming in hot over there. Get rid of it here. Step up somewhere to eliminate as, the damage as much as you can. But this one kind of scared me. I know it could have been caught. I mean, come on, buddy. Coquif, go after it. Don't just sit there and wait for the ball to come to you. But, I mean, he's just not a natural hands catcher, and it just bounces right there. But that is a dangerous, dangerous throw, even though he almost completed it. That one scared me. And then we're coming up here on the best play of the – probably of all the preseason. Whoop! Right there. Just makes the biggest move. I thought it was Mike Vick out there for a second. I mean, look at that. Disgusting. No, I mean, just joking around, all joking around. Look at his eyes down the field, understanding where he's at. Oh, let me make a little nifty move here. Foot down to the ground. He's eating dust. That was nice. And this guy's like, no, get him down. <laughs> but Kyle Trask, hey, guys, you have to admit this. Our QB2 does look serviceable. It looks like a guy that could potentially be someone in the NFL, if anything, is a trade piece, or if Baker gets hurt, you got someone that can do something. So let me know down below. What do you think of Kyle Trask? Did he show something to you in the preseason? Because he did for me. Uh, let us know down below. Like the video. Help support the channel. Comment. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. With that said, until the next one.